on 18 hours? 18 hours. Okay, so do you mean like 18 hours straight or spread over a period of time? Spread over. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too. Okay, 18 hours, hours spread over, let's say, maybe two days. Yeah, a lot of hard work. Maybe, maybe you have like a team of people helping you out here. And how big is it? So what could we use to describe how big is it? And you know, you don't have to necessarily think like this many feet wide, or I mean, which is fine, but you can also think like it's as tall as a skyscraper or as wide as 28 hot dogs or something like that, using figurative language if you like. That's any um, easier. Is as wide or as a limo. It's as wide as a limo. Very good. Okay. It's as wide as a limo. A very wide limo. In fact, uh, this is a little bit off topic, but there was a Guinness World Records, and apparently this very crazy person really actually had a swimming pool in his limousine. Now, um, that is pretty amazing. So limos can get very wide. Okay, very good. And let's see, how tall is it? As tall as the Eiffel Tower. As tall as the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is one gigantic treehouse. You know, I think we might want to revise having teams of people work for us more like huge, gigantic, large, 2,000 teams of people working for us or something. Okay. And as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I'm glad I spelled that right. Yeah, I'd be a little embarrassed if I didn't because um, I actually went to France and we uh, went to the Eiffel Tower and, you know, my dad, who was always taking us walking everywhere, which was good because we got a lot of exercise. He estimated that we walked, like, I don't know, more than 10 miles per day, which I couldn't believe since my legs were really sore. Anyway, we walked up the Eiffel Tower instead of taking that nice little elevator. My mom was almost crying. Okay, very good. So now we have all our answers. When was the treehouse made? March 1999. So basically, I'm going to rewrite the original paragraph to make it more descriptive. Very good. So we made a treehouse in March of 1999. It was, was made of sturdy birch wood. Oh, okay, it can't be spelled together, I guess. And we filled it with all kinds of, kinds of fun things. Let's see. It's made of sturdy birch wood. I'm gonna make that a separate sentence. We filled it with all kinds of fun things. Board games, video games, a TV, Lots and lots of books, lights, beanie bag chairs, and posters. Beanie bag chairs, posters, and of course, lights. Standing in the completed tree house and looking around, we felt happy excited and jubilant. 18 hours for every two days. So I'm going to put that up near the top. The building took us 18 hours, hours spread over two days. <laughs> wow. Let me see. And it's as wide as a limo and tall as, as I can tell. The tree house was giant, as wide as a limo, and tall as the and as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Great job, everyone! Now I'm going to read the complete description out to you. We made a tree house in March of 1999. The building took us 18 hours, spread over two days. It was made of sturdy birch wood, and we filled it with all kinds of fun things. Board games, video games, a TV, lots and lots of books, beanie bag chairs, posters, and of course, lights. 
Standing in the completed treehouse and looking around, we felt happy, excited, and jubilant. The treehouse was giant, as wide as a limo, and as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Great job, everyone. Now that we've answered all these questions, we've made such a more descriptive paragraph, and I personally like this better. What about you? Yes, very good. I'm glad to hear it. So that brings me to tip number one. When we read writing, or when we read our own writing, or write our own writing, we want to add details. De oh, oops. Okay. Details give a story life. Before, my sister had a smile on her face. After, my sister smiled like a cunning chihuahua, which implies that she's both a little uh, scary looking and smiling. Yes, uh, Ken and Chihuahuas are very creepy. Details make a story unique. Before, my grandmother drove us to the amusement park. After, my grandmother drove us to the amusement park in her old Dodge Dart, which smelled like a poodle. Uh, if, if any of you have ever smelled poodles or even dogs, it's a pretty unique smell, I would say. And Dodge Darts are a very old type of car, so when we add details like that, we think, hmm, that's pretty special. Details make a story unique, uh, sorry, exciting. Before, the cat jumped on me. After, the huge, hairy cat jumped on me, sinking its blood-stained claws into my sweat. Okay, I added that to make it more dramatic, but it did make it exciting. So let's practice adding details to one of these. Either the tiger yawned, or Cory hit a home run, or my sister yelled at me, or I could tell my mom was getting mad. Raise your hand if you'd like to choose one of these to add details to. My sister yelled at me. My sister yelled at me, okay, very good. So how could we add details to this? Starting with, what does your sister look like when she's mad, when she's yelling at you? Ferocious, very good. My ferocious sister yelled at me. Excellent job. What what more can we add? Um turning her face is turning red. Her face is turning red. My ferocious sister yelled at me, her face is turning red. Sorry? Oh, the the color of a chili pepper. Excellent job. <laughs> Her face was turning as red as a hot tamale. Hot tamale? Okay, maybe. Steam was coming out of her ears. Steam was coming out of her ears. Very nice. Breathing fire at me. Breathing fire at me. You know, I'm getting a little worried here. I'm thinking. <laughs> Um, I don't know if, if you're entirely safe where you are right now. You might want to, like, contact Children's Aid or something and tell them about your sister. Yeah, that, that sounds a little scary. Okay, very good. How about one more detail to add to this? Her eyes were popping out at me. Her eyes were popping out and bulging out at me. Very good. Okay, so my ferocious sister yelled at me, her eyes bulging out as her face turned a horrific... Terrific is like the opposite terrific kind of really horrible scary. Uh, as her face turned a horrific hot chili pepper tamale color, I kind of combined that. Okay, very good. She started breathing fire and steam flowed out of her ears, filling the room and making her look like a dragon. Okay. And then before my eyes, she slowly started to <laughs> turn into a dragon as scales appeared on her skin. Okay, uh, that might be a little unrealistic, but, you know, it could happen. Very good job. So, yeah, exactly. It could happen in a fantasy book. To make an interesting topic interesting, add detailed information. Before the spaceship was big, we flew to a planet. After we climbed into the big titanium spaceship and flew out into starry space. After several years, we finally reached the planet Zorier. 
So basically what we're doing